All right, then. Let's play Mind Scanners. It's an interesting... It's a futuristic game where we're going to scan people's minds. And the best way to experience it is to start. So we'll take normal mode. Also, I have no guarantee that <laughs> this is going to run properly. It seems to be running fine so far, at least stream-wise. Greetings, citizen. As you are well aware, your daughter is now in the care of the structure. She has been placed in quarantine at the Zignoka Institute as she has shown signs of a highly contagious mental illness. Oh no. Details of her conditions are classified, but we assure you that she is in good hands. For normality and the mind, the structure. Also, I don't know if my camera is in the right place. I'll have to move it after we actually get in the game. Request to visit your daughter. Denied. To, ex to access the Zignoka Institute, you must be a mind scanner with a level 3 citizenship. We understand your concern, but there is no need to worry. For your inconvenience, your daily maintenance is reduced by 2 cup of the structure. Well, that's mean. Oh, email. Congratulations, you have been accepted into the Mind Scanners program. Encloses the needed equipment for the job. This includes a radio phone through which you will receive further instructions. The constructor thanks you for your service. For normality and the mind, the structure. So, this all sounds very dystopian. Okay. Um... Okay. Yeah. This is going to get covered. What do I cover? I, it's not covering too much of the text, at least. That's good. Let's see if we can get it. Not corner corner. I could. I could be absolutely tiny. Does that look good? That's probably not going to cover anything. Yeah, I mean, that's good enough. It's better than not having a camera, though. Greetings, mind scanners! Your duty is to diagnose and treat anomalous citizens of the structure. Okay. For each completed treatment, you will receive 15 kapol. If you can't pay maintenance at the end of each day, you will be exiled from the structure and thrown into the outer zone. Wow, spooky. I think from the images, there's going to be something in the top right at the moment. If it doesn't seem like there is, then I'll leave it as is. This map of the structure shows citizens who have shown signs of strange behavior. Look, a citizen is in need of attention. Go pay him a visit. Um... This one? Old Hanson Park, the oldest park in the structure and the home of many strange creatures. Take a step inside the outside. Fancy. Oh. Rutger is a true nature enthusiast. He knows every three, every tree in the structure, and the chief conservator of the Triangle Park. Lately, he has become more connected with nature. In fact, he believes he is an oak tree. All right, let's go to the patient. Swoosh, swoosh. This citizen has already been scanned. His insanity amount and insanity types are displayed here. Um, insanity type is square, square, and good, cool pattern. Start treatment and remove his insanity before time runs out. Alright, how does this work? Treatment. Um. Oh no, stuff is happening already. Um. Press button. Aha! 
Okay. Oh, I see. Ah, there's a dial here. Let me to change it to the correct type. Okay. Perfect. Treatment complete. 15 Kapov. Huzzah! I'm... Not an oak tree. No. That's sort of silly, isn't it? I guess I spent too much time with vegetation. i better go visit my friends again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy to help. This jumper does kind of look oaky. Though. Good job, mind scanner. As mind scanning is fairly new, the technology is still being tested. But rest assured, our methods are highly effective. No more citizens require your attention today. Get some rest and continue tomorrow. Cool. Um. Okay. We we'll press OK. End of day one. Maintenance minus seven. So. Okay. This is all very simple, except they do not explain anything. Your daughter is trapped in a room. Try to, you try to unlock the room, but the key breaks. She screams. Uh, three citizens require your attention. Choose a citizen and perform a mind scan to unravel their insanity. Remember, you take full responsibility for their diagnosis. Very well then. Oh, we can, we can zoom in and out. What, what else do we have? Book of Lunacy. Follow the rules. Open your eyes. Fulfill your duty. Destruction will rise. Technology will bow for all mankind, for normality and the mind. What do we have? Duties. Oh my goodness, there is text. Um, your duties of mind's gonna... This map detects citizens. Uh, if you declare a citizen insane, use a treatment to remove insanity. And only one point at a time. Your device manager can also develop other devices to develop science. Treatment requires expertise. It's stressed start treatment while immediately. Treatment may also cause depression to alter their personality. If you and your citizens must pay maintenance. If you cannot pay maintenance, you'll be exiled from instructions only to other zone. Okay, we have patient list. What else do we have? Ah, this is day one. Mind scanner. The primary device of mind scanner. This machine measures the mind of a patient while exposing to him or her to a memory enhancing image to make an accurate diagnosis. The mind scanner fine tunes interpretation, declares the patient sane or insane based on the information. Patient talk describes an image. Choice button to choose your interpretation. Uh, Psychotron, remove one insanity by body type. So, but effective is okay to remove one at a time. So, the knob, okay, we figured it out. Drugs ease, ignore stress, soulmate protects personality, clarity removes insanity points. District the district is divided, the structure is divided into seven districts. Each of the districts serves a purpose, and together they form a perfect symbiosis. We have the gem of the structure, the splendors, the talents, the deals, the ventures, the pumps, and the boots. Uh, core. The city within the city, here lies the Zigo Signoka Institute as well as other research facilities and administration buildings. It is also the home of the constructor. A prominent district with high maintenance costs, gourmet restaurants and all the luxury you need to relax after hard day's work. The talents is the structure rich in culture. If you're looking for an experience of any form of entertainment, a mere five minutes walk in the talents will satisfy your needs. The deal I'm looking for a new okay, the shopping district, the venture is the business district. The pump is the industrial district, the boots is the slum. The fun part. Uh, tech, this constructor is the creator and architect of the structure. The instruction, book of law, maintenance, tax system. Uh, okay. Mainly used for a police force. May, uh, confer to anyone hybrid the structure. Mind scanner. A shopper, a merchant selling goods from one of the many shops in the district, Kapov, 1000 Pok, Pok, the small coin used by food, drinks, and stuff. The War of. Oh my goodness, there's so much lore! 
Okay, there's an asteroid. And in war. And apparently the Gnook is an energy source. Um, tons of death. And the structure was roused after war. Night a year, I kill many people and people. Okay, the Zinoka is an energy energy source that drives most machines. One of the oldest and most important buildings of the structure. Most modern scientific breaks that have been there. The mine's kind of program. A zig zapper. <laughs> Ziggy zappy. A Zinoka based ray gun used by the officials. Oh. Well, that's not so funny. A popular handheld gaming console, a square by the popular handheld gaming console produced by Powertron Electronics. The Outer Zone, the desolate land outside the gates of the structure, home of mutated beasts and various tribes of Outer Zoners. Advanced technology is strictly forbidden in the Outer Zone. People living in the Outer Zone, sometimes referred to as barbarians, nomad of oozers. Okay, we did it. I read... I read the damn book. You want to end the day? No. Okay, we have a day overview as well. Oh, and we can rewind. Oh, I guess that's how... Okay. Clicking on everything. Okay, let's actually look at some patients. Maeve Machine. Maeve is Guru, a wise and old cyborg. Children receive lessons from her as a form of school, but she refuses the definition. Parents are worried that her lessons are moving in a sinister direction. Oh my goodness, and there's time to travel to all of these, so I can't do all of them. L.F. Zinsky is the writer of the best-selling book series, Tales from the Outer Zone. Lately, his imagination has led to an obsession of his own creations. Yunshu is a regular slum punk girl living on the streets with minimum maintenance, a parasite of the structure. Friends say that she's always been strange, but in a harmless way. Until now. Uh, let's do Maeve. Hi, Maeve. As I predicted, it came today. I wonder what part of the future your machine will let me see. Future. Ooh, time traveling machine. Yes, sometimes I see a glimpse of the future. I am wise, yes, but these visions are the main reason I share my thoughts. People need to know. The children of the structure need to learn about their future. Ooh, what about mine? Okay, Doctor. So I'll tell you what I see on the screen. Hope you can make sense of it. Let's begin. I see the fate of the structure. Thousands of dead people lying on the street. It does not have to be so. Um, should we go chaotic? This is the being who is controlling everything, exactly as envisioned. Call it God if you like. Um. Superstitious. A modification of brain cells connecting the gap between flesh and machine. Fascinating. It's so obvious. We need this. All of us. Transhumanist. Yeah. Oh, we're supposed to select the right. There's a right one. I just thought we were just supposed to select our interpretation. Oops. Somewhere in the outer zone. Hmm, curious. Mind scanning allows me to access to places I've never heard of before. What beautiful plants and strange creatures. Um. Uh, insight. The system that maintains the structure supply of Kapov. Such a frail thing. Chaos could happen. Okay. Machine believes she can foresee the future. This leads to a loss of ego, which leads to a loss of personal responsibility. Her teachings are a threat to the community. Wait. I have to choose whether she's sane or insane. Based on this? Wow. 
I don't know. Being able to see the future doesn't seem like a threat. Or is it... They're a threat anyways, but is it an insane thing to believe? I mean, seeing the future is kind of insane. You can't see into the future, right? I'm just gonna go with the laws of science is a thing. Alright, personality type the guardian. Awaiting treatment. You will not see the future. Initializing insanity panel. Initializing stress bar. Initializing personality bar. Patient stats initialized, ready for treatment. So we need to avoid that symbol, and we need to do lines and basically draw snappy. Thank you for showing me your instrument. Interesting machine. Very enlightening. Let's proceed to the next part, shall we? Okay. The psychotron treatment device seems to be unstable. Avoid the red area and you will stress your patient. If you want to develop another device, use the left panel to access the device manager. Device manager. Choose a device that matches the insanity type of your patient. Uh, we want this one. Oh, okay. So using time, we can develop technologies. Wow. Removes up to three in a row insan of insanity type that. Decipher and disintegrate thoughts. Do we need them? Okay, let's let's just try this one. Let's develop this. Um, tidy up the mind by locating, counting, and eliminating threatening patterns. Press and hold the search button to reveal symbols, and count how many symbols match the one in the display. Count this symbol. Press and hold to search, input the correct quantity. Okay. Wait, do I need both of them? I can't get both of them anyways, okay. So... Oh, it's a different type. Shoot. Wait, it is this type. Wait, what do I do? Treatment completed. Okay, so I just avoid the red part. I can just let go earlier. Hmm. Your treatment worked. My visions seem to have gone away. I did not predict this. Perhaps my visions were delusional after all. Though I must say, seeing the future was kind of handy. I agree that you can't see the future. Um. Well, I can't travel there, right? Okay. That, that ends. 
That ends my day. End of day two. Maintenance. Minus seven. Okay, we are keeping your daughter at the institute for further examination. Letting her return home will be dangerous for her and everyone around her. She is doing well. You have nothing to worry about. She is an interesting subject. You should be proud. For normality and the mind, the structure. I am still spooked out. Do we get access to... Oh, we still have access to the previous ones. Okay. Um, they're all quite far away. Let's go in order. Unless... Is this one interesting? Little Johnny Day showed great potential as the youngest ever winner of the quiz show, Flip the Switch. Lack of dissimulation has made him erratic. No. Okay, let's go talk to Elif Zinsky. Zoom. Hey, Elif. Well, well, well. What a charming appearance. You've got confident, aren't you, darling? I suppose we are going to tell my fortune now, hmm? Be quick about it. There are two Zoxon heading this way. Built like beasts in leather armor. Vicious soldiers from Darrow Fields. Hmm. I think we avoided them. Good. You were saying? Oh, he has a vivid imagination. That was it. That's my son. I haven't seen him in ages. Ignore my warnings. <sighs> the folly of youth. I'm just worried that he will be attacked by those flying Zarats circling above us. Um, I haven't seen him in ages. Ignores my warning. The folly of youth. I'm just worried. Okay, well, needlessly worried. Obviously. The raging river of Zanks, only a few miles from the structure. The currents are so strong, it sucks the life out of any living thing. A scientist told me of a flood that will bring down the gates in two days. Terrifying! Um, a few miles from the structure, the currents are so strong, it sucks the life out of any living thing. A scientist told me of a flood that will bring down the gates in two days. Terrifying. So he believes there's going to be a flood in two days. Uh... Life sucks. <laughs> it do no, it doesn't. Life is great. Um, it doesn't hate water. I think it believes in stories. Arg! It's that barbarian mistress living across the street. She fires waves of ice arrows at me. There are several warring clans of them in the outer zone. You know, it's quite a sight. Um. I don't think paranoid. I think. Wait. Paranoid delusion? I don't think pacifist is correct. Is this civilized correct? It does sound civilized. Paranoid delusion doesn't sound correct either, though. Maybe it is Paranoid Delusion. Okay, it is. Fiction has taken up residence in the frontal lobe of Zinsky, crowding out reality. He suffers from the dangerous and antisocial conviction that his stories are real. I mean, hmm, is that an issue? <laughs> the thing is, it's not really an issue, is it? I mean, it... I think it does make you insane, but it's a, it's a cool kind. I mean, by whatever metric you choose to call someone insane by. Um, dangerous and antisocial conviction that his stories are real. Should I just treat him? I think the answer is whether- I think treatment removes stuff from some people. So maybe it's not a good thing to treat him. Nah, let's just treat him.
insane. Mount five types. There's three types, and there's the dreamer personality type. Too much sanity, maybe madness, and maddest of all, to see life as it is and not as it should be. What is this bar now? Oh, is that the stress bar? Okay, we need... Okay, we have this machine. We'll need two more. We'll need this one, right? This one. Um, let's develop the one that takes less time to make. Okay. The organic machine mirrors the soul of the patient through the eye. Match the pattern to extract the insanity from the soul. Use the three eye buttons to match the sequence of symbols within the patient's eyes. Recreate the sequence and confirm the button. Okay. That should be an easy one. Um, okay, let's start the treatment. Uh, so is this one? Um, one, two, I see... One, two, three, four, I see five. Oh, there's one more. One, two, three... Oh my goodness, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's do this one. So the eye. Oh god. Okay, it's this one. Last one was this symbol. Okay, I keep missing it. Now we just have one more. Okay. complete. Let's go. Well, it's a brave new world. I guess I'm going to have to work a little harder to make things up, but that's why they call it work, right? Ah, good. We can talk to little Johnny Day, but I don't think we can treat him. It's cool map. Yeah, I don't think we can treat him. I don't know what happens if we... If we start it and then we don't finish it. Because also, if we mess up, time gets taken out of our day. So what happens when we hit zero? Do we just give up? I mean, we can go talk to him. Zoom. What are you? A mind scanner? Here to test me, I suppose. Well, I've been tested before. Let's get this show started. Um. We just start. Cameras, all pointing at me, awaiting my decision. Will I flip or not? All the families are watching me from their homes. Uh, center of attention, obviously. Two wires, red and blue, like in the picture films. I bet the red one triggers an explosion. The blue will bring me glory. Uh, not... Not in... Well, not really a movie buff. I think things in absolutes, right? Yeah, things in absolutes. It's a bag of whizzled sugar-frosted toolbox. The hammer is a licorice, the drill is chocolate, me and my older brother had to pick one at a time. No peeking. Um. Excited by randomness? Not really unhealthy. Candy. Excited by randomness. This is not a mentally ill person. In Johnny's mind, everything has become a probability game of win or lose. An admirable, admirable world theory in which nevertheless works poorly in real life. Yeah, he's saying. No treatment needed. Yeah, he's saying. <laughs> it's like, okay, you just like stuff. <laughs> cool. 
Patient declared slain. No further action required. Three. Oh, I still get money. Nice. Ha! Huh. I knew you'd say that. And I'm a pretty good guesser after all. See you around. Or not. Yeah, do it at the end of the day. I mean, literally, it's just like, oh, this guy likes probability. We know that the structure is keeping your daughter from you. We can help you, and we believe you can help us as well. Just remember to take good care of your patients. Don't break the people. Break the structure. Moonrise. An interesting cryptic message. Okay, end of day three. Maintenance, minus seven. Pay maintenance, TV times. You have received a package from Mr. Zinsky in his latest book, Gladiators of Hillwork Crevasse. You flip open the first page. The onyx dagger is a treacherous weapon. If handled well, it can penetrate even the sturdiest lizard scale cuirass, but strike at the wrong angle and it breaks at the hilt. Not unlike the soul monster herself, Gianna noted, strong, limber, and with a single purpose. Nice. Good pros. Greetings. My scanners have recently been contacted by the terrorist group known as Moonrise. These people seek to destroy our society and must be stopped. Have they contacted you? No. Hmm. Okay. If you receive a message from them, or any suspicious messages, you are obliged to tell us. We will make sure to protect you. For normality and the mine. The structure. What message? No, no message has been sent in my direction. None. Okay, we have two people. Ooh, one, one of them thinks they're an animal. So this is the strange in a harmless way. Okay, missing for years and presumed dead. Someone has managed to disappear from society, but lately has been spotted at the sewer entrance in the boots, as well as at various cafes. He looks like he's handling himself quite well. Okay, let's go to Chung Yu Su. Boom. Um. The second you see the young slump punk woman, it is clear to you that she is heavily pregnant. No, I know what you are. I don't want to be scanned. Please, go. My son will be born any day. If I get a diagnosis, the structure might take him from me. Please, he will not function without me. Okay. So, they're weird in the sense that they're pregnant. I want to let her go then. The two options is let her go and calm down. Um... Can okay, you let, let her go? Or calm down? I think I get into trouble if I... If I don't scan her, though. That's the thing. I have to think about myself as well. I need to keep... Um... Let's calm her down first. No, I will not calm down. You must understand. My baby, he... He's a robot. On the scans, he looks like a regular baby, but I... I just know that he is a robot. No one believes me. He will need Zignoka, or he will die. Oh, they are insane. Maybe. I don't know. We'll give her a scan. It's the vision. Of my son. He's in my arms. But he's different. Not like any other child. He's my special boy. He's a machine. My biochemical little boy. He's struggling. I feed him Zignoka, and he smiles. Um, Drem's son is robot. Yes. My old friends, and it doesn't matter. They're not my friends anymore. One of them is the father. I'm not sure who. Dono? Paolo? Retho? At least one of them is a robot, but I don't know who. 
<laughs> Everyone is a robot. Um, Father Unknown. Not everyone is a robot. They're saying at least one is a robot. Um, I think we go Father Unknown. The skyline on the other side of the Red Lake. If you think about it, this whole city is a robot. Everything runs on Zignoka. No wonder our children are being born robots. It's a natural progression. Um, believes in biotech evolution, basically, right? Uh, yeah. Yunshin is convinced that her unborn child is a robot. She is afraid that the structure will take him from her as she believes to be the only one who will give him the Zigno cut needed for survival. Okay. We are gonna call them and say. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot. No, you can't. They'll take away my baby, please. You have to listen. That diagnosis will only cause trouble. And they're not crazy. My child is a robot. He is. Okay. Sure, lady. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Well, we only need this one, right? Removes up to three types. Okay, what do we do? Sucks out the blood of the patient, detects any imbalance, and shoots a cleansing substitute fluid back into the patient. Match the shape of the blood sample by combining shapes from each slider. So it shows the blood sample here. We confirm the match by pressing this button. We, okay, we use these sliders to get a match, and it's, okay. Okay, that's easy enough. That's easy enough. Let's do it then. Sure, this thing is safe. Nope. Um, that is correct. Um, we should do uh, one. I see one, two, three. I see three. Okay, next one. Oh, I'm running out of time. I see two. Time's up. Your work day has ended. The citizen requires further treatment. Oh, so we can just keep going. Okay. Nice. Oh, this is a um, news broadcast. Today's news. Famous chance champion Johnny Day, known from Flip the Switch, lost all his money on a roulette table at Pock Tower. He has no comment on the situation, but looked rather shocked. Well, that's his issue. Keep your eyes open. When the time is right, we will talk again. Accept any birthday invitations. Sure. Oh, they are far away now. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk to them later. Okay, at least... It seems like we can treat people later. That's nice, at least. Jill <laughs> Gilbert clumps, jumps from the shadows, shows his claws and hisses. He's a total mess. Hiss. Be warned above her. Beware of the rodent. Come too close and you'll be torn to pieces. The rodent will bite you and give you the plague. I'll keep my distance. Good. Or you will probably die. Hiss. Alright, we'll scan you. Dan, a co-worker from my boss, the only one at work who didn't bully me until I discovered his online hate forum where everyone posted hateful comments and pictures of me. That traitor! Yes! Uh, Tyronize at work. 
First, a bubbers drop them. The rodent collects and returns, because the rodent is a hero. Hiss! Uh, helps people. Uh, my superpowers, my psychic blast, keeps the bubbers away. Hiss! Really effective when raiding for food. Uh, it claims to have powers, that's true. I don't think he's an explosive expert, and he's not an entertainer. He claims to have superpowers. His, this lost soul claims to be a superhero named the Rodent, after being bullied hell throughout his life. He lives alone at the sewers, cut off from society. He has an aggressive attitude and is putting his own health at risk. But he is living his true life, though. Hmm... Okay, let's call him insane. You may speak truth about my diagnose, but may no mistake, the rodent is here to stay. Hiss! Yeah, you can be a sane superhero, just, you know... Okay. Yeah, we have all the stuff we need. Uh, we'll do this one first. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then just that one. Yeah, that's one, five. Um, two is two. Now if we do this, we get three of them in a row. I see, that's how it works. Oh, that's, that's exactly what we got. Um, we should do this one now. Is it? We're not gonna get everything. Three. Wait, that's not good, is it? I think I broke him. complete. I am human. I forgot to mention a minor side effect of your treatments. They sort of reduce the personality of your patients. Once the personality is completely removed, it can never be recovered. But no worries, you'll get paid either way. Your insanity is first priority. It must be removed at any cost. Oh no. Do not listen to the structure. You need to take care of your patients. Do not remove their personality. Keep treating, but treat with care. Oh no. Oh, I feel bad now. Okay, let's develop stuff then. Is there a way to... Okay, we have some drugs. <laughs> we can we can keep some of them in here. Okay. And these are are these just 
you keep them and they do good. Okay, let's develop some of these. Uh, transform the insanity into frequencies and force them to use the vocal cords as a patient. Requires a steady hand. Okay. Okay. Well, there is not much more to do, because we cannot do anything else. Yes. End of day five. Today's news, there is a rising concern among the citizens as outer zoners continue to gather outside our city walls. Their intention is still unknown. The gathering started six days ago, and today there is an estimated total of 3,000 outer zoners camping at the north gate and the south gates. The constructor spoke earlier today. I understand your worries, but I assure you, we have the situation under control. Or is that gonna just be a purge? Oh, there's someone here. Miss Simmons is an effective faculty leader at the university psychology department. Her theories have often been questioned, but it's diff getting difficult to distinguish madness from method. Alright, let's go talk to them. Hi. I seem to have developed a system of hallucinations. As things go, it's very difficult to know where reality starts and the hallucination ends. Are you real? I am. Hmm. Okay. You're a mind scanner. I see. I was afraid this might happen. I appreciate the concerns, but I have this under control. My insanity is self-induced. It is part of my research. You can leave now. Nope, I'm gonna stay. Ralphs. I kinda look at all day, in my work. The rising insanity level in the structure is impossible to ignore. No one cares if you are why, but I have my theories. Um... Uh... So, they're not necessarily worried about the society and annoying groves. But are they really withholding? That's, should we go worried about society? I don't think that's correct, but it's the most correct. It's difficult to explain. It kind of looks like what it looks like when I close my eyes. Fast-moving clouds in the strange colors, but they have faces as well. Uh, visual disturbances, right? Doesn't like fast travel. I mean, everyone likes fast travel, but not at the moment. Imagine it. Yeah, okay. Visual disturbances. My most recent patient. Why not you? She asked me. He got me thinking. How can I distinguish between the sane and the insane if I haven't experienced both? Um. In-depth research. Out of empathy for the afflicted and to further her research, Simmons has subjected herself to self-induced psychosis. However deliberate, her hallucinatory state is unacceptable for a faculty leader. I mean, they are definitely insane. <laughs> By necessity. Um... The entrepreneur. Okay, there's only two types. Maybe this will be easier. Like, I don't know that. The question is not whether someone is insane, but how dangerous they are for themselves as society. So what's next? Will you brainwash me with those primitive machines? Okay. Or I could leave. Um... So we have the two machines, right? We do. Alright, let's figure out how these work. We'll treat you. Uh, can we? No. Um, 
Racing is a 6 1. This is tricky. Oh, that's getting close. Ah, there we go. for a drug. I think this is a time thing, so we need to do we need to go quickly. Need to do this one. There you go. Got it. Treatment complete. It, it actually worked. My hallucination seems to be gone. I went too far this time, didn't I? I honestly didn't think your machines would cure the effects of drugs. Perhaps I'll see you at the next Minecon. Yes. I know the mind. And I can cure it. Okay, yeah, the, the, these drugs seem to be very useful. <laughs> we need more of them. Uh, we don't have time to develop anything, so... Maybe a couple, couple of the... Oh, well. These don't require time to produce, so we don't need to care about them. Um, end day. Yes. End of day six. Maintenance... Okay, uh, who's the closest? You're closest. Let's go. Hi! I promise you will never take my baby. He is mine! Okay, so our treatment. The first thing we need to do is give you drugs. Um. Okay, we need wavy. Two, three. Okay. There we go. Attack. Oh, my baby, my sweet little boy. He's human. He's just a little baby boy. What was I thinking? You saved him, Doctor. I can't, I can't thank you. Thank you so much. There you go. Um, okay, I'll travel to you then. Zoom. You're a mind scanner, aren't you? This is a first. Well, hook me up. Let us hear this wisdom of your machine. I forgot to check what they had. 
Some sort of jellyfish. Interesting patterns. I should make a sketch of this. Um... Inspired? Yeah, inspired. Yeah. Hey, this one looks a bit like a mind scanner. Yeah, corporate looking. Stiff mug. Artificial, almost. Um... So they don't want to be mind scanner. Desires businessman. Where did he get that? I guess provoking, because they are talking directly to a mind scanner. Looking into a cup of water. The water is moving into her mouth. Delightful. Um, that really likes water, not thirsty. Blank stare. Blank stare? Thirst thirsty. Blank stare. Oh. Time's up. The city requires further mind scan. Wait, what was it then? It tests water? <laughs> they don't like the water? You see your daughter trapped in a sea of wires. Hmm. Beautiful imagery. Doctor, I gave birth to a healthy boy this morning. He's here. Oh, he's so sweet. Sweet little Quan. I will never forget what you did, Doctor. Never. Incoming facts. ID number 34424. Do not share. Do not discuss. Do not question. The pulse is on the rise. This vicious illness develops in the carrier in the carrier as a compounded force similar to an electric current. This disruptive force can be released on purpose or accidentally due to the instability. Either way, the results are catastrophic and should be stopped at all costs. So it's like a Ooh, so you a person carrying an EMP signal in their body. That's kind of fancy. The Faraday program is our newest effort at the Zignoka Institute. It is created to eliminate the pulse. We are currently examining five carriers of the pulse, known as disruptors. If you encounter any disruptors or any signs of the pulse, report to us immediately. Um, the Faraday program is our best defense against the pulse. Earn a level 3 citizenship and you too can join the Faraday program for normality and the mind the structure. Funny found a way to eliminate the pulse. Those structures must be stopped before they destroy all Zignoka based machines. Yes, I'm worried. I'm running on Zignoka myself, you know. Oh, the whole city is. Well, back to work, scanner. So. It's like a. Wow, this is like a person with actual superhero powers. <laughs> Bajoosh. Robot be gone. Ah, oh, they moved. Okay. Let me go to you then. I forgot to check who they are again. Your Grace, you summoned me. What is your command? Yes, Your Grace. I will do as you please. He is not insane. Can I keep him? My longsword, beautiful and deadly in swift hands. I have had a decent amount of sword fights on the battlefield. My opponent weren't swift enough. Um, skilled warrior. No. Oh. We're supposed to select delusional. We are good people of our kingdom. They farm our lands, build our houses, and raise our children. I will protect them at all costs. Protective. A cloud of fire arrows gliding silently across the night sky. How they rain down upon our enemies, one by one, like God's punishment. Enemies deserve death, I think. A quiver of arrows. Taking an arrow, placing it on the bow, and firing it into a target is satisfying. Is a satisfying feeling. Uh, fascinated by archery, I guess? It seems like... Bene Widget's fascination with medieval times has become his life. He believes himself to be a warlord stuck in the Middle Ages. Cool, let's cure him. Erotic. 
16? I'm sorry if I failed you. Your grace, I'll do my best to make up for this. I pledge my life to you. I wait your command. Wow, that is a lot. Okay, we have this. We have this. And we have this. So this is the first time. How do we use this again? Um, transform the insanity into frequencies and force them to dial using the vocal cords of the patient. Turn the knob to max power. Nice and easy. Okay. Uh, so we don't need... So we have this one, this one, and this one. We don't need this one. Okay. Perfect. Mind scanner time. Treatment. Uh, let's, let's give Sarah this drug. Uh, we'll do this one first. I'm going to need to give them another one, I think. Yeah, let's give them another one. I see one. Oh, that was two. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. Okay. Uh, okay. complete 15 oh it just occurred to me that you're a mind scanner i thought by the way why am i wearing this heavy armor it's a little bit fuzzy i do feel a little silly huh thanks for making me think straight you're welcome it is my duty to rid you of all the things that make you interesting uh let me make this one quickly because i can okay I'm racking up dough right now. So much dough. Um, I want this one though. Yeah, let's end the day. Should we just make it? Because <laughs> then we don't need the drugs. But they're so cheap. <laughs> just like one a pop. Unless I'm, I find out I need the money. A strange and unregistered man was seen doing strange things near a big vent. Look out for this strange man and be careful. He is very, very strange. I mean, I could just get it. The boost personality thing. 
Um, removes any stress on personality. Nice. Restore full personality. Maybe eventually I need to do this. Should we just do it? Just get it. Yeah, let's get it. This detects and reconstructs the person of the patient using an advanced identity radar. Um, that sound working. Yeah, it should be. Um, use the radar to locate a symbol that matches one of the buttons. First thing you might not be. First thing you might you find might not be what you're looking for. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's go visit. Oh. She can. Her family. Her familiar face can be seen on Ez and produce all products all around the structure. Despite her success, a patron has seemed to grow inside her. Her behavior may influence other citizens, so it's time to act. Patroness. Might it be jealousy? Oh, a mind scanner? Ah, I get it. I finally woke up and began criticizing our government, and all of a sudden you show up. <laughs> Incredible. Well, okay. Let's rid my mind of my destructive thoughts. It's the cup of scanner in my foyer. I don't get this. We pay maintenance every day, but where do these billions of kapok go? The streets are overrun with trash. Makes you think. Hmm? That's an interesting question. Wait, is it literally you just feed it into a machine? Hmm. Trash makes brain work. <laughs> Um, I think questions the system. Questions the system. It's a Zignoka refinery. People who work there get all sorts of afflictions and mutations. It's not like they have a choice. Not everyone is appointed a safe job. Um, people work there because also affliction and mutations. Uh, not interested. Not a job advisor. Against the job system? Let's go with that. We do. The stun ray. I saw the police use it on a street window once. He hit the ground instantly. Imagine the chaos if everyone had one of these nasty things. Um, against police brutality, right? They seem based. They developed a fantastical notion that the structure is not acting in her best interest. She's clearly against the system. This is anti structure behavior. This anti structure behavior is a danger to our society. Let's declare them sane. Sane. Yes. We need more people like them. No further action required. I guess you're right, Scanner. Sorry I seemed angry before. I just felt that our society is going in the wrong direction. Like, we should do something. I see you're doing your part. Sorry I distrusted you. Um... Okay, we need to go to one of these two. Glenn lost his father at an early age, and has since lived with his mother. He is a professional dancer at the Dome, but he has been neckling, his neglect, neglecting his work since his mother passed away months ago. Oh, rip. Well, he's just grieving. Known in the underground art science as Aqua Joe, Johanna was grown, has grown a following in the past few years. Her agenda is unclear, but her work is spreading all across the structure at a steady pace. All right, let's go visit him again. Oh, hold still for a bit. I'll just make a quick sketch. <laughs> hold still. There. We. Go. Here. She draws the final line and hands you the drawing with a big smile. A good caricature indeed. You're holding a brain in a cup and sucking it up through a straw. 
All right, we'll we have to scan you. Uh, ah, the ocean. Waves washing everything away, tearing down filthy waves. Against the structure, basically, right? Yeah, that's an anti-structure rhetoric. A red stream, a rusty water. It looks like blood and death to me. Um... Obsessed with blood? Damn. It looks like one of my watercolor paintings. A squid doing graffiti on Core Data Tower. Political artist. Why not? A small yellow flower on a cliff. There is also a waterfall. I feel fresh air. Um, longing for nature? Yeah, that sounds right. Hey, an official. He's blocking the way to my shower. Move it, you tyrannical asshole. Uh, against authority. Easy. So they're also based. Obsessed with water. Her desire for H2O goes unmatched, and her paintings of fish and underwater creatures are countless. Seems disrespectful toward authorities and the structure. Again, this is like fine. This is like normal. Patient declared sane. Give me money. Thank you for clearing that up, Doctor. Now, let me get back to my drink. Hey. Water is life. That's how you ebb and flow. Okay. Uh, we just, I don't think... Wait. Maybe there's something I can research. Um... Nope. I can only make drugs. Side effects may vary. I uh, want to end the day? Yeah, let's end the day. End of day 9, maintenance 7. Perfect. Yeah, we have a deficit today, but... Thank you for not exposing me. Oh, we got more! Mind scanner, you have accumulated 134 science. At this juncture, it is my privilege to congratulate you on your level 2 citizenship. Being a level 2 citizen comes with many perks, free parking, access to better vegetables, and don't forget, become a level 3 citizen and get access to the Zignoka Institute. Do I have to pay more though? Is that the thing I have to do? Oh no. I don't want to end the day. Um. Alright, poor guy. Let's go talk to him. First I want to make some... Okay, let's go talk to him. I mean, he's just grieving. Although... If I could just... Snap up his grief... With a machine, wouldn't that be nice? Uh, mind scanner. Uh, uh... Did not expect this. Did Mother send for you? Well, come inside. Oh no, if, if he thinks his mother's still alive, that's an issue. It's a magical place far away. Everyone is dancing, free from any duties. Um. Dreams of freedom? Because far away implies he's not there. Okay, I'm good. Chains. Tied to a house. Strange. Um, feels trapped. The set of the ballet huntsman. Wooden pillars rising and sinking into the wet forest floor. Fabulous. Sexual thoughts from art? Where do you get that from? Um... He's not afraid. Hunts people? 
Wait, none of these three work, do they? There's no more, is there? Wooden pillars rising and sinking into the wet forest floor. It's sensual, yeah, but... Let's go as hunts people. Yeah, none of these work. Oh, one of Mother's teacups. Broken. She will be furious. Uh, fear of misbehaving. That's an easy one. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't bear looking at cemeteries. Uh, death anxiety, I think. Then think his mother is alive and spends all his time caring for her. He is submissive and nervous. Great passion for dancing, but can't maintain his work as long as he is trapped in the clutches of his dead mother. Alright, let's cure him. Orphanophobia. I have two of these, I think. Oh well, you're probably right. Mother has always told me I need to be more focused. I know I can do better, Doctor. Please show me how. Um. Okay, it's this one. It's this one, it's not this one. And it's... Oh, it's this one. That's this one. Oh, the one I just randomly researched. Okay, that's kind of funny. So no need to waste time researching. Okay, so we have this one, this one, and this one. Uh, what's this one? Removes up to three types. Okay, the Strobo Shocker. What's that do again? Keeps a patient in balance with amplified light drawn from luminescent Zygnoka crystals. Followed instructions to fill the Luma meter. Um, Luma meter, power switch, set hertz, set area, set rhythm, set light type. Where's the instructions gonna be? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. We have space, we might as well put the booster. Boosts personality. Um, okay, in which case we don't need this thing. Perfect. Let's... Let's go for it. Okay, first one we'll do this one. Okay, turn on the device. Turn on the mouth? Turn off the mouth. Uh, we'll do this one next. That's literally what it does. That's fine. Um, okay, we do this one next. Okay. Oh, the music just stops all of a sudden. I turn on the mouth. Set rhythm to two. Set rhythm to three. Uh, I think we do this one next. 
Okay, let's see how much we can do. <coughs> uh, without... Uh, turn on the right eye. Flip the on off switch 14 times? Turn off the device. Okay. up. The work day has ended. Hmm, that's not good. Well, this means we have to spend a little bit more time. Another incident of the pulse occurred today at Jack's Noodle Diner in the Boots, and over and exploded as one of the chefs was preparing a meal. Luckily, no one was hurt. The owner, Jack Francis, comments, If I'd known he was a jammer, I would have never hired him. The disruptor has been arrested. Rip. Uh... Yeah, we'll return to you. Hello, doctor. Come and sit down. I was just making a tea for my mother. Do you want a cup? Sure. A fine flavor of lavender. Glenn smiles as his stress levels lower. Nice. Okay. We'll start with this. This one. Okay, and now we can finish off this thing. Uh, turn off the mouth. Flip the on off switch eight times. Turn on the device. There we go. Easy peasy. You've been complete. I did not realize mother is dead. She's been dead all this time, and I don't know what got into me. Thank you for curing me, Doctor. I'll visit Mother at the em Embering Funnel from now on. Embering Funnel. Um, okay, they're the closest one. They were the... I should have read the prompt. Hello, who are you? Oh, a mind scanner visit. I think your calculations might be off. I am in no need of a mind scan, but if you insist, I will comply. I might learn something from this. I don't remember what... I'm on stage. Blind by the lights. Son, with your looks, you'll be a star. That's what he said to me, but I can't just stand there and pretend to be someone else. Acting isn't for me. Um, stage fright? Stage fright. Not stage fright. Oh, blind. No, wait. <laughs> not blind, are they? It's probably some stupid TV show. Probably fantasy oriented by the looks of it. Flying dragons and all that. Well, I'll destroy it with facts and logic. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'll destroy. Destructive? No! Destroyed was facts. Atoms doing their clothes dance around each other. They aren't teaching us a moral lesson, just adhering to the laws of motion. Nothing changes when you zoom out. Okay, obeys laws of nature. Okay, they're a very sciencey person. I get it now. It's the poster for one of Dad's dumb books. Look at that vulgar display. Some space maiden being abducted by a sentient intergalactic robot. It's just not plausible. Uh, dislikes fantasy. Oh, they are upset. A graph. Nice. Look how it jumps up and down. I like it when shapes actually mean something. Um... Interested in numbers? Number. 
focus. Growing up in a house of fiction and total tales led the young Grzynski to demand a solid grip on reality. Backed by hard data, this demand has turned him into a square conformist. Sane. That's fine. As expected, I bet this looks good in the statistics. Well, I'll continue my work then. Have a nice day. Um, Rick Truffle's name is both feared and celebrated among restaurant owners. Was, <laughs> was that beautiful face? I'm sure he's both feared and celebrated. Uh, a force to be reckoned with, Truffle has enemies all over town who lately has begun to fear more than just a bad review. Oh, he's a restaurant reviewer. Hold him right there. Who are you? Mind scanner. I see. Are you any good? I suppose. Well, we'll just have to find out, won't we? There's hardly anything in this world that can't be compared and criticized. I don't see why mind scanning should be any different. Alright, criticize my scanning. What? Is that steak cooking in a Signoka oven? You barbarian! This is that dope. Chef Foreman's work, isn't it? It needs low heat. I swear one day, I'll stick him in that oven. Uh, one correct way. My column in the Eastwall Journal. For 20 years, I've guided them through the dangerous culinary treats of the structure. I've closed many rat holes throughout the years. Still plenty of works to do. Uh, he does like putting people out of business. Look at the trash my mom is serving me. Plain oatmeal? This must be a baby memory. I told her what real food is. I remember cooking for her when I was four years old. She got better. <laughs> I remember cooking for her when I was four years old. Um... Young Critic? I don't think hates the mom. I don't get it. Hates his mom vibes. Young critic. Yeah. Truffle lives to eat and to criticize. He divides people into those following his taste buds and those who do not. Lately, his one-star reviews have been accompanied by death threats. Ooh, death threats. That's um. Uh... Okay, let's treat him. <laughs> Criticalia. Not necessarily because he's insane, but because he's insane. He's insane! You know, he's not insane, he's insane! Um. Okay, let's treat him. What? This, this, is, this was the most insulting experience of my life! I give this appetizer a one star rating, and that's being nice. Asshole. I'm sure as hell hope your ne next dish is served better. Wait a minute. Who put you up to this? I bet it was that... Fullman. He called me insane after gaggling on his hollandaise sauce. Well, what the hell are we waiting for? Let's cook this brain. Is he alright? Well, we're not gonna get the entire thing done. Then. But we can get headway in. Um... Need this one. Yep, these three are good. Okay. Time to start. Um We'll start with this one? What is that? Do not worry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Considering they're my only one, I can probably spend as much time as I want. 
By which I mean I'm going to not use pills, if possible. Uh, we'll do that again, yeah. has ended. The citizen requires further treatment. End of day 11. Alright. You received a letter from Glenn Star. Dear Doctor, thank you so much. Here are two tickets for Mountain Beyond, my upcoming show at the Sphere. Cool. Hey. This is Monica. I'm calling about the birthday party. Will you join us? Yes, I will. Great! The party goes down at Red Lake Docks. See you. Okay. Let me finish this this one patient. That traveled all the way there. Okay, we're traveling to the party first. Nice to finally meet you. We'll leave the names out. Uh, we'll leave the names out for now. Your radio phone could be listening. Do you mind handing it over? Why? Just give it here already. Okay. She carefully replaces a pin from the back of your radio phone and hands it back. There. Our signal will now be scrambled. The structure will have a hard time intercepting our communication. We will continue to meet in physical form right here by the lake. Okay. My dad used to take me fishing here all the time. Lord knows what mutated horrors swim in that filth nowadays. Anyway, have you heard about the Outer Zoners? There is growing concern in the structure as their numbers grow outside the gates. I can only imagine, considering... The Outer Zoners are basically being oppressed even though they're not, like, in the structure. How do you keep advanced technologies away from them with, uh, like, constantly putting them under supervision? We believe this is our chance. We believe these Outer Zoners can help us overthrow the Constructor. That's why we are currently trying to establish contact with them. Hmm. Just think about it. The gates. Open. All the fresh air of the world. I heard you received L2 citizenship. As a mind scanner, this means you've received some information. Hmm, doesn't say much, except the Faraday program? The structure is developing a weapon against disruptors? This means a lot to us. Scanner, you're a credit to your kind. Now I suggest we walk in separate directions. Nice girls. I do like rebels. Ooh, we're screwed. What? I have feelings too, you know. Oh, that. No, she scrambled me. I won't tell. The structure even if I wanted to. I won't tell the structure even if I wanted to. Just do your thing, I won't send any way to scan it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, Alright, let's continue treating our beautiful, beautiful critic. Why did they leave me? Did they not like me? I'm ready for your next dish. Stay with me. Um, okay. We'll, we'll start with this one first. Oops. Okay. What's this one next? Uh, one, two, three, four. Five? Wait, five. Oh, that's five. Okay. Let me improve your personality. Aha. Uh -huh. Um... Ma. Okay. 
the last one. Yes. Is this one? This one. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, well, too late. Time's up. Your daughter smiles at you. She looks different from how you remember her. So spooky. We need to know more about this Faraday program. Your daughter must be one of the test subjects. This has led us to believe that your daughter has the power of the pulse. The pulse is a destructive force that can shut down any Zignoka based machine. Basically anything that runs in the structure. Your daughter might be the very key to our salvation. We'll be in touch, Moonrise. Damn. Ah, stop moving! Let me just finish you off, please. We'll need to boost. Okay, we'll just start with this then. Okay. It's this one? Um, oh, okay, at least it saves this thing. Oh, one, two, three, four, seven. Um, wait, why is that machine gone? Oh, because I'm using it. Duh. Sometimes I'm an idiot. I think there's one. Yeah, I see one. I wasn't even paying attention to the personality thing. Oops. Splendid work, Scanner. A pure 5 star rating. I feel much better. Great, in fact. I'm sorry about being so rough with you earlier on. I have an urge to go visit my old friend, Fernando Fullman. Cheers. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to that. Um, Alright, let's go visit them. Oh, we're back at the woods. Mind scanner, I please help me before my foot stops you. Oh, thank you, kind. Sa Wait, what? Friends of Nancy describes as a nice person, but there is a rumor going on that she has a dark side that only her enemies know of. Her foot. Dun dun dun. Ugh. My foot. It's broken. My head hurts so much. I'm only five years old. My foot took, took control soon after. We made it all good again in no time. Think she's a child? Ah. A dance part. Oh! She's talking about her memory, is when she was five. I'm an idiot. A dance party. I hate dancing, but my foot doesn't. We always... He... We always drags... He always drag... That's an H? He always drags me around the door... The floor like a doll. Um... Autonomous foot? Yeah, the foot thing is weird. A man falling from the top floor of the glass tower. We were just enjoying the view when all of a sudden my foot. Whoops. <laughs> Murderous foot. <laughs> you just. They just kicked someone off the tower? Wall day. I was always embarrassed to go wall day shopping with my mom. People would point fingers and laugh at my skewed foot. My foot made them regret it. Doesn't like shopping. So mockery. Nancy is endangering herself and others. Her autonomous foot has dealt out damage left and right all through her life. She desperately wants this to end. A hundred percent. Let's fix it. Um, I think we have all three of these symbols, luckily. 
I know. I can't deal with this any longer. Please set my mind straight. We will. We will free you from your foot. Which one do I need? I think I have all three, right? Is this one? This one and this one. Okay, we have all three. We will not have enough time to do a full treatment. We can try, but we won't have enough time. Um. So let's just do one. Okay, we need to this one. Okay, we did it. We did one. Make them feel all good. Oh, what now? Ricky Truffle mentioned you in his column this morning. We he compared your favorably you favorably to the meal he had at Fullman's restaurant. I believe it was seafood. Good job, scanner. Oh, more news. After a lot of requests, the constructor happily announced his plans for a new park in the boots. The park will be a hybrid park, a brand new concept. The constructor describes this techno park as otherworldly fauna and state-of-the-art technology. Mixed in unique ways, techno park is ready in three months. That sounds spooky. Oh, they left! Stop moving! Why are they all on the other side of the map? <sighs> Even in retirement, Offman is considered to be the most accomplished athlete of the structure. Always the picture of physical and mental health, Offman has now begun to show erratic behavior. <laughs> Arg, please, I need more time. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I mistook you for someone else. The name is Offman. Call me Baras, please. I trust you're here to get me rid of my credit... Creditors. Oh, no. You got money issues. The javelin was always my favorite discipline. This looks like a mental tipped one. Hasn't been in use since the Union switched to hollow tips. It'll hurt, all right. What? It'll hurt, all right. Um. Prefers metal. Design enthusiast. First metal. Okay, apparently it's wrong. I don't know what any of those ones are. Our contract, written in blood. The paper does not tear. Uh, feels trapped. It's a violin hovering in the air, playing itself. He can turn himself invisible when he wants to. That's how he could always run next to me on the track. Feels followed? Turns invisible. A freshly drawn white running track on blood red gravel. You only notice the curve if you raise your head and look ahead. A freshly drawn white running track on blood red gravel. You only notice the curve if you raise your head, look ahead. Um. Likes colors. Some sort of animal, a poor little lamb, I know, it senses the slaughter. Animal lover. Okay, I'm just failing this one. That's the man himself, old Nick. Some people see his horns, others do not. I never saw them personally, but I would recognize his smile anywhere. Okay, 
obsessed by devil. We're just gonna select the ones that seem correct. <laughs> the podium, the view is best from the top, but I see a familiar face in the crowd and it scares me. Uh, followed. Okay. A clock, it hands are spinning out of control. The time has come. Uh, awaiting death. Severe insecurity has led Offman to believe that his achievements were bestowed by the devil. He now seems to think the devil has returned to claim his dues. Okay, yeah, we could definitely treat that. Um, awaiting treatment. Okay, let's go. Yes, it would be a mistake to not take this seriously. Scanner, my death is collecting itself. It's collecting interest as we speak. Uh, okay, so it's this one, this one, and this one. Okay. We can research these ones afterwards. Okay. Let's start the treatment. Oh, his, his, um... Set risen to one. Change the type of light to set risen to two. Set risen to zero. Um. Okay, turn off the device. Set risen to three. Turn on the device. Set frequency to. this. Uh, now we do this. Okay, now we do this. Oh, it's a circle. Easy! Now do the voice thing. Sing for me. Sing. Uh, we do that thing. Uh, change the type of light to... Set frequency to 25. Turn off the right eye. Let's do on switch 10 times. Time's up. I'm gonna run out of money, actually. Today's news. A data pub burst in lower parts of the pump today, creating a high risk of radiation. The entire district will be closed off for traffic the rest of the day. Okay. Yeah, they keep running away from me. Stop. Um, one of the many parasites of the structure used to be a car salesman, but now nears maintenance by doing lord knows what. Recently, his temper has reached a new level. Okay. The are you doing here, you little brain sucker? Think you're better than Jefferson? Yes. <laughs> what do you say? Ah. Mind scanners. Jefferson stabs both his knuckles into the nearest wall, leaving a small mark. That's Danny, prick. Try persuading me to buy his data log, data goggles. I showed him a thing or two about goggles. Die, rat. Um, short-tempered. He's smiling about it. Hmm, sort of looks like my photo of Team Gamma. Those guys are the only clear memory I had from our trip to the outer zone. I can't. Uh... Lost his friends. Psychedelic trip? No, I don't know. 
I don't know. I should have gone to Lost's friends. A waste disposal machine. A junk crusher. A great place to find spare machine parts for reselling. If only those punks weren't hanging out there all the time. Um, scavenger. Okay, I'm not doing this. I mean, what's the deal here? Am I supposed to say something like, that's me in the gutter drinking my brains out? Look, look at him, he's such a parasite. Uh, sad life. Strange, but familiar landscape. There is something unsettling about this place. I don't like- <gasps> Don't kill me! Ah, get it off- Get it off me! Uh, panic attack? Panic attack. With the slightest touch, his anger exposed like a Zignoga bomb. In his twenties, he was sent to the outer zone on a secret mission. Through his memories were- Though these memories were wiped, his trauma stays with him. Insane. Outer Zuniac. Okay, well, this one we can do in the day. Okay, let's do it. Wait. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Sure thing. Feel free to drill my brains to pieces. I ought to kill you. Um. That's great. We're ready at half. Half hour allotment of stress. Okay. We'll have to start off with some. Oh, this just prevents. Um, I thought it actually reduced stress. Turn on the left eye. Set rhythm to one. Turn on the right eye. Uh, oh, that was the wrong thing to do. Oops. I should I should do this one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I see seven. Alright, well. Oh, no. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's it. Oh, that's not it. Okay, give me circle. I can do circle. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe it has to face the same way. And that's why it didn't work. Uh, we can do this. That rhythm to three. Turn on the mouth. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, we should do. Oh, this is one more test. Then we should do this one next. It has to be this one, right? Okay, we are right this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. this one. What? Oh wow, there are two more. Yeah, I was slowly and quickly running out of money. Of course, he traveled to the other side of the map. Let's travel to this person. <laughs> I 
Ah, this is a first. So you've come to interview the interviewer. This will be interesting. She moves closer to you and puts her hand on yours, her nail resting on the back of your hand. Letter. She leans in and licks you on the cheek. The two of us are close akin. I examine my subjects before I damn drain their mind of information. An identical procedure of a mind scanner. True. Um, this is not very consensual. She tears into your shirt and digs her nails into your flesh. She licks and bites you. People turn emotionally dumb around me, as if they alter their personality. I've heard the same can be said about your treatments. Yes. Thank you for being honest, Doctor. Now, just lean back and relax. She unleashes her inner animal, leaving you semi-mutilated in a very delicate way. Links, the most beautiful hunters of the outer zone. Um, I don't know. That's the dude I interviewed last week. He had some info on Moonrise, had to dig deep to get him to spit it out. Uh, raw methods. Two elegant creatures, very intimate, clawing at each other, scratchy, sexy. Uh, enjoy cats fights? Wow, I'm so bad at this game. Old Handsome Park. I used to go hunting for insects with my mother there. We even went there at night. She told me how to see in the dark. Um... Bestial? Bestial. A tiger paw. Vicious. Imagine such a beautiful thing ripping your throat out. Excited by beasts. Uh, Alfonso Giron, the editor-in-chief of our comp competitors, the Eastwell Journal. I'm sure would like... I sure would like to rip his face off and put that on our front page. Violent Desires. Please don't kill me. Vivian hunts down a good story at any cost. When it comes to intimacy, she has no restraint. Like a cat hunting mice, she will tear anyone apart until she gets what she wants. But, uh, she, but that's not an insane behavior, is it? Yeah, I call her sane. This was fun. I feel an interesting story coming. Stay tuned, Doctor. Well... Let's make this thing, then. So we basically have to cure someone... ...in the next two days. Because <laughs> we're running on low on money. Your daughter sits next to you. You touch her hair. She's gone. Okay. Your patient, Vivian Lyon, has killed a reporter from the Eastwell Journal. She dragged a dead body into the office with her teeth. She has been thrown into the outer zone. You have I receive a fine for neglecting your duties. Oh no. Had a rough day? Here, have a cup of coffee. Compliment of the structure. Sure. Oh. Ah, a smile. Breaking news. Massive explosion at Data Tower D7 in the deals. At least three people dead in what seems to be another attack led by terrorist group Moonrise. Wait, Moonrise is killing people. Oh, well. The constructor describes the attack as horrifying. This is a symptom of the growing mental problems in the structure. All Moonrise members must be located, scanned, and treated. Okay. Um, what do I save? I think I just say I'm fine just like this, right? Because I think now is a good time to stop. It's two hours. Don't have to do this too long. Um, cool. Well, 
This is a good game. Wow. I'm like heavily invested into this already. Okay. Um. Cool, this is fun. I don't- I think I can just close the game out, so... I'll just end stream first. Okay. Um... See you around. And bye-bye.